Hey guys, welcome to another stream. What I'll be testing now is an on the road with a new patch 1.05 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now I've tested the PS5 earlier and the Xbox Series X, so now it's the PS4 Pro turns. So we'll see how this game performs on the PS4 Pro with the new update. You'll see how it performs overall on this console. They fixed quite a few things, so we'll see how they show in this version. It's very interesting to see what this console can can do. It still has the power. Is it going to have any problems? We'll see. Okay, so I'm stuck in the motorway. Let's start the truck. Let's go to the taco. Set the car, the rest time. No, we don't want to do that. Change that to driving time. Okay. So let's go. what happened there but uh, it went so fast for some reason now this I did something with this uh, mirror over here because I noticed that on the PS5 version uh, I don't done something with this mirror the bottom one seems a bit like either foggy or there's something with it that I don't like definitely something wrong with it it wasn't there before. So I'm just gonna see where am I going, guys. Let's see. No, oh, I need to go back. Actually, I need to turn back. I need to find a spot and turn back. So I need to go. Actually, I can turn into this fuel station. Actually, now there's no point that I've got fuel, so I need to just to find a place where I can turn. As you can see there on the electronic bit there, you can see the flag. That tells you how far you've got to go on a job. And you've got the time, which is 6.58 on the right. And you've got the speedometer on the left, which is 90 kilometers an hour. fix that on this patch and they fix the parking now, atom the car or the truck automatically puts on a handbrake once you step out of the truck and that wasn't there before and it stops it moving uh, and you go when you reverse you have to double click the pedal to reverse it's not like like before when you kept it on to stop it will go backwards or on reverse now it's different and done it more secure so you got a control over your truck now and then the previous patches they fixed uh, the AI might perform decent on uh, the PS4 Pro actually it's not bad not bad at all so far from what I can see now I've got nothing to complain about only the mirror. I don't know what the thing on the mirror is. Like a. I don't know what it is, honestly. Can you see that thing in the middle? I don't know what that is. 
looks like a bar or something, but there's nothing there. Strange. I need to turn back, man. Anyway, I'm... Actually, I can continue to Hanover. Yeah, I can go there. I can go to Hanover. I don't need to turn back. Just to show you guys, it's not a... Uh, It's not about the missions. This this demo or this uh, gameplay is not about uh, missions. It's about showing you what the game can do with a 1.5 patch. So I'm just gonna find a, a job there. It's like a small. It's not gonna be a long job. I'm just gonna show you how the truck performs. This version doesn't look bad at all. This looks better than a, still looks better than the Xbox version, and the, it looks actually looks better than the Xbox Series X port as well, which is a surprise, but very surprising to me. That uh, the PS4 Pro can look better. strange and in my opinion this one is performing better than the PlayStation 5 and it's, and it's looking a bit better as well it's got a few graphical glitches I don't, see, I don't know if you can see it in the wheel it changes but uh, the motorway seems uh, the detail in the motorway seems a bit better on the PS4 Pro. I don't know why. To be honest, I haven't got a clue. Why would that happen? Why would it look better than the PS5? Because I played that earlier, and I and also the same thing with the mirror. This one, the PS4 Pro version, looks decent, very decent actually. I'm not surprised how good it looks. Now it's got a few dropouts, like a frame rate issue, which the PS5 hasn't got. But uh, still, looks very nice. It's got that uh, that clearness that the PS5 didn't have today. It hasn't got that grey kind of look. The PS5 had. No idea why though. I haven't got a clue what they've done. But it certainly doesn't look the same as before on the PS5. There's, there's certainly something missing there. How far are we, man? Why did I go to... I didn't go to Hanover. Oh man, I went another way. I missed it, I missed the turn. It's okay, we can go to the other one. We can go to... What was it? No, oh, Hamburg. We can go to Hamburg. But uh, I don't know how far that's gonna be. If we see another petrol station, I'm gonna stop and show you guys. It looks overall. So far, I'm performing fine on the PS4 Pro. It hasn't got major problems. Just a few dropouts, like a frame rate kind of uh, issues, but nothing else. Nothing serious. This game is playable now on, in all, on all versions. As you can see with the AI, it's the same thing, you've got no problems whatsoever. So this game now is ready to be bought. 
and to be played on. If you got a PS4 Pro, PS4 Pro, go and buy it, guys. If you got a PS4, it will still perform the same, but uh, you may see just a bit of a bit of a dropout on on the frame rate. But that's it. You look nearly the same. So it has major problems on uh, the Xbox One version, original Xbox. You're probably going to find it struggling a bit. Same with the mirrors. They were going to have that fog, which you can see on the Series X as well. But if you got a PS4, PS4 Pro, I recommend PS4 Pro instead of the original PS4, but it's still playable. I've been playing for around 11 minutes now and everything is fine okay so we're gonna go okay so my driver other driver Natalie she's finished the route so we need to find her a job as well when we stop See there, you got the dropouts. I don't know if you can see it. So that's what I'm talking about. With these consoles. You get a bit of a dropout. I think it's a software issue, it's not the frame rate issue. seem to sort it out. Where are we? I'll turn there. Actually, yeah, we haven't got penalties, so I'm gonna just go. On the next pass, they're gonna introduce the traffic light penalty and probably the speed camera penalty as well. That's what they said. And, uh, the customization, you know, the colors of the truck, you can choose the paint of the truck, you can put a logo on the truck. I didn't see that. Oh, I nearly crashed there. I need to go to a petrol station now. I'm going to this part of town, not to the city. The only problem this game has is the vast, you know, because it's got the vast map. 
it's got such a forest everywhere. And now the detail is a bit low on everything when it comes to vegetation. So it's like a PS1 and PS2 graphics. It's definitely not PS4 graphics, that's for sure, when it comes to the vegetation. you guys understand why depend what the unity engine can do for the game my head about that. Where, where am I going? To be honest, I got no idea where am I going. Why am I stuck in the same place? I need to get out of here. This is not the right place to be. see that fence from further away. I thought it was just you can drive through. And obviously it isn't. Whew. That was a surprise jump there. Go where the road takes us, man. Because I'm getting messed up over here, like this. Uh, I'm just gonna go where the road takes us. Forget about planning it. Because it didn't work out. Version. 
but the game is definitely playable now. You can play it. It's got no problems. Let's go over here. So let's uh, let me step out of the truck and you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you the truck overall just to look around it. Yes, it's gonna sound very strange, but to me, this looks better than the PS5. No idea why, but it does. The detail and everything looks a bit sharper. So I don't know what they've done with that date when it comes to that. And as you can see now, when you step in the truck, it's already parked with the parking brake and uh, the game is saved as well so that's uh, and when you go backwards when you reverse you have to double click basically double touch the L2 on the controller and it will go so that's fixed now and as I said earlier the on the right of the screen you got the flag and that's the distance when you take a job it'll show you exactly how far the job is so it's probably like 10 kilometers or 80 kilometers or 100 kilometers and on the top that's the time which is a 935 and the rest you know the fuel and the, the rest time and everything else so they've done a good job with this update the next one is an important update as well because they're going to include the paint job and the steering wheel options for the Xbox but uh, so far this game is now uh, complete and now uh, you can actually buy it now it's no longer question mark you can order it now and now uh, Pre -order, uh, order it because it's already out you can uh, buy it and enjoy it so that's a good thing they've done and uh, they said in a couple of weeks probably it's gonna be the, the PlayStation 5 and Series X that's they're gonna be released that version uh, the proper they're gonna do the proper work on it so it's gonna look like probably I'm guessing like Steam so that's what's gonna happen with those versions so we'll see, I'm going to be covering them as well on both consoles because I've got Series X and PlayStation 5. So I'm going to be covering them both. But uh, so far with the PS4 Pro, I'm really happy with the game. Plays fine. Enjoyable. The only thing I've got is uh, the mirror. But the problem with this is the mirror on the left. You can see there's nothing there. Just go around, there's nothing there. Just looks like a white bar in the middle but there's nothing there just look there's nothing there it's like a graphical glitch and it drives me mad why the top one is fine he hasn't got any same for the that other one so this one it's got that it's like a bar in the middle and they need to fix that but overall perfect guys so thanks very much hopefully you like the stream and the video when it gets uploaded so thanks very much and see you on the next one take care
Bye bye guys. Bye bye.